Hey class. So in our read alouds, we've been doing our letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And we have done A, B, C, D, E, and today we're doing F. And so for F, I picked one of my favorite books and one of Miss Sarah's favorite books, Frog and Toad. She actually bought me this book. It's called Frog and Toad Storybook by Arnold Lobel. His name is hard for me to say. Arnold Lobel is one of my favorite authors. And I don't know if you remember it, but we read a small book that was Frog and Toad, our friends, and we laughed. It was so funny. And the illustrations are really cute, too. When I open the book, see Frog and Toad there just talking. So do you think this is a fiction or a non-fiction storybook? Remember, fiction is fake. Non-fiction is not fake. That's how we remember it. And so this book is so big, it has a table of contents. So it tells us the stories in the pages that you can find them on. So for this one, we can find the story Spring on page eight. And that's the story we're gonna read today. So I'm gonna to turn to page eight. And on page eight, there's the story Spring. So I'm gonna read that to you. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog. Wake up, it's Spring. Blah, said a voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining, the snow is melting. Wake up. I am not here, said the voice. Oh, let me show you the illustration there. So there's Frog knocking on the door. Frog walked into the house. It was dark, all the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers up over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed and he pushed him out of the house and he pushed him onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun and said, help, I cannot see anything. So see, there's Frog in his house, and then there's Toad in his bed, and if you were rolled out of the bed, where it was dark and you were cozy and all under the covers, and you were rolled onto the front porch and it was a beautiful, sunny, bright, sunny, shining day, you'd, you'd be blinking, you wouldn't be able to see. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April. And it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Hmm. Now, the last I checked, our year didn't begin in April. So what do you think Frog means by April being the beginning of their year? Hmm. I want you to think on that, okay? So he says it will be, it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows and run through the woods and swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on this front porch and we will count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I'm going back to bed. So did you think about what he meant by the beginning of their year being in April? That's spring. Maybe they've been hiding all winter because it's cold. Toad went back into the house. He got into the bed and he pulled the covers over his head again. You ever have a day where that's all you do? <laughs> but Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Hmm. Why has he been asleep since November? I want you to think about that. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. 
Come back again and wake me up when it's about half past May. Bet there are a lot of people out there that would like to be woken up about half past May. <laughs> Good night, Frog. <clears throat> but Toad, said Frog, I'm sorry I didn't show you the illustrations. There are the illustrations. He's, Toad is back under his covers. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on the top. Frog tore off the November page. See the calendar? We do calendar in our class too, don't we? Frog tore off the December page, and the January page, and the February page, and the March page. What comes after March? Do you remember when we do our months? January, February, March, April, May. Very good. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Frog came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page too. Hmm. Now, it's April. Why is he tearing off that calendar page? Do you think he's just listening to Frog? Frog doesn't want to be woken up until May, so he's just going to get rid of April. He's <laughs> just going to tear it off. April's gone. I wish we could do that. <laughs> And then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up! It's May now! It's May! What? said Toad. Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog. Look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on the top. <clears throat> wow, it is May, said Toad as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. <laughs> you can't really just tear off a page and it be the next month, right? We have to go through all the days. I hope you have a good afternoon.